Now, this happened outside her house at about five o'clock this morning, local time. Explosions in the early hours of morning. Police and military took over the streets. We were woken up by a deafening noise at 4.25. We heard shots. I jumped out of bed and opened the window and looked out. Police told me, no, you need to close it. I saw the police, the firemen lining all the streets, and there was smoke everywhere. Officers raided an apartment and arrested several people. Everyone else was distinctly told to stay inside. I was in the apartment just above. The police blocked the door to prevent us from leaving. They told us to stay put, lie down, not to move, to switch off all lights. That's what I did. I hid like this with my baby. We could hear shots being fired. We could see lights of lasers pointed towards us. And really, the intense explosions were so strong, we could feel the whole building shake. Additional French military troops were deployed in the massive operation, a manhunt for a suspect potentially linked to Friday's attacks in central Paris. Police have been targeting the alleged mastermind of the Paris attack, Abdelhamid Abdaoud. The 28-year-old is currently the most sought-after man in Belgium. Authorities say he has Moroccan roots, but grew up in the now-notorious Brussels neighborhood of Molenbeek. Shortly before midday, authorities announced the raid was over. This morning, beginning at 4, police special forces conducted an operation aimed at detaining terrorists. Seven people were arrested, two people died, one of them, a woman, in an explosion. Deux personnes sont décédées, dont une femme, par explosif. Authorities say several police were injured during the standoff. Schools and other facilities have been closed until further notice.